Welcome everybody to our press conference today. Today, Texas organizations call for accountability for sedition activities in Washington, D.C. on January 6, 2021. My name is Alexander Montalvo with Indivisible Text Ledge and will serve as today's moderator. On January 8, 2021, 22 Texas grassroots organizations released a statement calling for accountability due to the horrific, violent, and tragic insurrection that took place at our nation's capital on January 6. Each day, additional Texas organizations have added their name to this statement, as well as individual Texans. As of today, over 70 Texas organizations have signed, two Texas state representatives, and over 850 individual Texans. Our call for accountability is towards the Texas elected officials that took action on January 6, 2021 to incite the insurrection as well as vote to overturn the 2020 election results. These elected officials include Senator Ted Cruz, Attorney General Ken Paxton, Representative Jody Arrington, Representative Brian Babin, Representative Michael C. Burgess, Representative John R. Carter, Representative Michael Cloud, Representative Pat Fallon, Representative Louis Gomert, Representative Lance Gooden, Representative Ronnie Jackson, Representative Troy Nels, Representative August Fluger, Representative Pete Sessions, Representative Beth Van Doon, Representative Randy Weber, Representative Roger Williams, and Representative Ron Wright. With us today are speakers for some, from some of the Texas organizations that have come together to call for accountability. Neil Aquino representing Indivisible Houston, Dr. Candace Matthews with the Texas Coalition of Black Democrats, Harris County Chapter and State Organization, Shante Davis with Sunrise Movement Houston, Texas State Representative Ron Reynolds from the Texas House District 27, and Christina Sensun Ramirez, founder of Jolt Action and Latino Families Forward and 2020 U.S. Senate candidate. Our first speaker, Neil, from representing Indivisible Houston is with us. Neil, the mic is yours. Thank you so much. <clears throat> My name's Neil Aquino. I'm representing uh, Indivisible Houston. Indivisible Houston holds politicians accountable. I'm also a co-organizer of the weekly John Cornyn Houston office protest. Next week is our 207th week. I'm going to read a substantial portion of the letter signed by so many Texas organizations that helped begin this process. On January 6, 2021, a violent mob motivated by conspiracies sowed by the White House stormed into the Capitol, forcing legislators and staff to barricade with the protection of armed guards. After hearing an address with yet more incendiary rhetoric from the outgoing president, they forced their way into the Capitol building, carried a Confederate flag through the rotunda and threatened lawmakers and our seat of government in Washington, DC. Anyone involved in inspiring and encouraging and abetting these terrorists must be held responsible. Unfortunately, they've been enabled, enabled by a large cross-section of extremist politicians, many who represent Texans. They've made a mockery of democracy by embracing the fascist rhetoric of a far-right figurehead with a far-right movement behind him. They've suppressed votes while lying about our election system, sullying our elections while opposing their legally legitimate losses. They've proven themselves unfit for office. They must resign. Organizations around the state of Texas hereby call for the resignation of the Texas politicians complicit in the actions of January 6, 2021. We believe in democracy and in the power of the people to make progress in the United States. Those who've proven they would prefer to destroy the country rather than hold Trump accountable must surrender their power permanently. Their power is vested in us and they've shown themselves willing to use it abusively in the name of democracy. This coalition for freedom and democracy is grassroots led. The work of freedom is up to each of us. Don't wait for elected officials to show up or lead the way. Let's show ourselves up for ourselves, for others we don't know, establish trust and wield power. Thank you. Thank you, Neil, for 
your statement. Next up, we have Dr. Candace Matthews with the Texas Coalition of Black Democrats, the Harris County chapter and the state organization. Dr. Candace Matthews, the mic is yours. Good afternoon, everyone. As he stated, I am Dr. Candace Matthews. I am the statewide and Harris County Accountability Chair for the Texas Coalition of Black Democrats and the Harris County chapter. U.S. President Teddy Roosevelt once said, patriotism means to stand by the country. It doesn't mean to stand by the president. It is evident Ted Cruz incited domestic terrorism and led the charge to overflow the will of the people by objecting to the electors of state that Donald Trump did not win. Indicted, Texas Republican Attorney General Ken Paxton led a counterfeit pandering lawsuit to overturn the will of the people and then incited a terrorist rally before the siege at the Capitol. In the interim, 16 Republican members of Congress witnessed the violence firsthand and still unquestionably voted to reject the electors despite Biden's commanding victory. Texas Republican state legislators, Angela Paxton, Kyle Berderman, Briscoe Kane, were all in Washington cheering, aiding, abetting all of them along the way. This is beyond politics. This is about the foundation of our democracy. We, the Texas Coalition of Black Democrats believe if we sanction these traitors to go back to work and normalize this behavior, we would never get past what happened on January the 6th. Ted Cruz and Ken Paxton knew quite plainly that Joe Biden won the election, yet they still pull the political stunt to attempt to overflow the will of the people just to rev up their rabbit right wing base. Equally important, Texas Governor Greg Abbott needs to go and be a focus of our attention. In fact, right now, we need Republican leaders who will stand up and fight to protect our democracy and the voter rights of Texans. We need political leaders in Texas who truly believe in justice, equality, and democracy. Where are you? Let us hear from you. Join the fight with us. Before we can truly interchange forward as a country and restore, these people must be held accountable for their engagement. Their actions have demoralized our democracy, stimulated treasonous, seditious acts, and brought dishonor to Texas. This is why we are immediately calling for their resignation. Accountability is not what we do, but it's what we do not do, which we are accountable. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Matthews. Our next speaker is Shante Davis with Sunrise Movement Houston. Shante Davis is a Sunrise lead organizer, a junior attending Spring Early College Academy. And just to clarify, Shante is a junior in high school taking dual credit classes. Shante, the mic is yours. Thank you, Alex. On the ground, the grassroots organizers have been calling for the removal of Ted Cruz and other Texas re representatives since before the insurrection on January 6. He and his constituents have, been, have proven again and again to be more than inadequate leaders for our state and our country as a whole. Not to mention Cruz's environmental policy record is nothing less horrific than former President Trump's. There needs to be accountability either through resignation, expulsion, or an investigation. These actions of these so-called leaders has made grassroots organizing harder than it needs to be, especially for high school students such as myself, and has darkened the light of democracy for future generations. Thank you. Thank you, Shante. Our next speaker is Texas State Representative Ron Reynolds from Texas House District 27. Well, good afternoon. Representative Reynolds, the mic is yours. Thank you. Good afternoon. This is State Representative Ron Reynolds, and I stand in solidarity with the grassroots organizations that are calling for the immediate resignation and removal of these elected officials that have obstructed justice. 
You know, Dr. Martin Luther King said it best. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And we all saw before our very eyes the grave injustice that was placed upon the United States of America on January the 6th. Now, what preceded that was the obstructionist conduct of our elected officials, where it's already been stated that they were per perpetuating a fraud. That means that they knew that the electoral process was sound. It had already been vetted. It had already been uh, validated. And they were simply attempting to overflow overthrow the will of the American people. That would have sent us into a constitutional crisis that we have not seen in this country since the Civil War. These elected officials raised their right hand and took an oath to abide by the Constitution, not to be puppets for President, former President Trump, to the right wing conspiracy theories, to the people who were obstructionists, and let's call them for what they were, domestic terrorists that were willing to do by any means necessary to overthrow the will of the American people that duly elected President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. So it is time for us to stand up, speak truth to power, and join in solidarity and hold them accountable. They must immediately resign or I'm happy to see a congressional ethics committee that is going to determine whether or not they should be expelled or censured from Congress. And I expect them to do that. It is time out for extreme partisan politics. It is time to be statesmen. And it finally, in the former words of President John F. Kennedy, let us not seek the Republican answer or the Democrat answer but the right answer. So this shouldn't even be a partisan question. This should be about what is best for the American people and for the sake of our democracy and for the sake of the American people, it is time that these elected officials remove themselves from office because they are not fit to serve. Thank you and I stand 100% with the coalitions in support of removing these office holders because they have failed in their constitutional duty. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Reynolds. Our next speaker is Christina Sinsun Ramirez, founder of Jolt Action and Latino Families Forward, and also 2020 US Senate candidate. Christina, the mic is yours. First off, I wanna thank um, all of the grassroots organizers that have been pushing, organizing, and demanding that our government actually serve us, that have been showing more courage um, and commitment to our country than our, many of our current elected leaders. And it's often taken the courage of ordinary people to make our government live up to its promises. And we need that kind of courage right now because we have our elected leaders from our Senator Ted Cruz, our indicted Attorney General Ken Paxton in many Republicans in our congressional de delegation that have betrayed their oath to the American people, that have betrayed their oath to uphold the US Constitution. We're here because there is no crime greater to commit against the American people than the Treasonous Act of trying to end our nation's over 220 year tradition of the peaceful transfer of power. We're here because we know that these men are not defenders of democracy. We know that they have no interest in serving the will of the American people. These are the same men after all that supported gutting the Voting Rights Act that protected the rights of millions of people of color to vote. These are the same men that supported the massive fraud and effort to undercount immigrants and their children in the US Census. These are the same men that cheered on the illegal effort of the former Texas Secretary of State to purge 100,000 citizens here in Texas from voting. We have seen at every single turn of these men's careers that they have done everything in their power 
to try and keep as few Americans and Texans voting as possible. In a real democracy, there aren't kings, there aren't despots, and there aren't dictators. Only the will of the people. We all know here that real democracy has always been a threat to the powerful and the elite because it's the great equalizer, where our vote is equal in weight and representation regardless of our income, gender, race, religion, or creed. And that's why we know these men are not defenders of democracy, but traitors to it. They are traitors to the American people and the US Constitution. Ted Cruz had the audacity as a mob, a violent mob was storming our US Capitol and one of its most sacred duties was being undertaken, the peaceful transfer of power. To send out an email while five people were being killed in the process, a fundraising email asking people to help chip in and help him in his effort to kill American democracy on the Senate floor. These men have one last chance to do what is honorable and right by the American people. And that is step down from these positions. And if they don't, we will work in every way possible to remove them from office because we are 70 plus organizations across Texas and we represent millions of Texans that share one simple belief. And that's that if you don't believe in American democracy, you have no place serving in it. I wanna share also a few words in Spanish. Todos que estamos aquí ya sabemos que Ted Cruz y Procuradora General Ken Paxton, que recordamos está siendo investigado por corrupción y muchos representantes republicanos congresistas. Sabemos que no son héroes, no son líderes y han demostrado que nunca les ha importado defender la democracia o los deseos de la mayoría de los tejanos. Al contrario, estos hombres son traidores a nuestro país y han tratado de destruir nuestra democracia por su propio beneficio político. Estos hombres no tienen ningún interés en servir a la mayoría de los americanos o los tejanos. Han demostrado que lo único que les importa son sus carreras políticos y el poder político de su propio partido. Estos hombres apoyaron la toma del Capitolio y intentaron destruir a nuestra tradición por los últimos 220 años de transferir el poder de un partido al otro de manera pacífica. Tenemos un mensaje para estos hombres traidores. Si no creen en la democracia, no pueden representarla, ni en idea y mucho menos en el, un puesto político. Quizás estos hombres no han creído en el poder del pueblo, pero pronto van a creer en, lo, en eso, porque les vamos a sacar de sus puestos, porque este país es nuestro, no de traidores ni dictadores. Y si Ted Cruz quiere vivir bajo una dictadura, que se vaya a vivir a Cuba. Pero este país vamos a asegurar que sea gobernado por los deseos de la mayoría. Y vamos a seguir organizando, luchando para que cumplimos con este, ese sueño y esa visión de nuestra, nuestro país. Thank you, Cristina. The call for accountability is clear. Our democracy was attacked and these 18 Texas elected officials supported these attacks with their actions. We are calling for all Texans to stand together and to make, your message, to make our message clear. They are unfit to serve as an elected official. They have betrayed the oath of office that they have taken up and they've become a danger to Texas and our country. On January 6, 2021, the U.S. Capitol was not the only place under attack. In fact, several state houses were attacked as well by people fed by lies and misinformation. On January 6, 2021, the Texas Capitol in Austin was closed due to legitimate threats. The Capitol in Austin was also closed last Saturday, January 16th through January 20th, 2021. That's a total of six days the Capitol in Austin has been closed due to legitimate threats in the last 17 days. Security remains high at the Capitol after reopening. 
The attack on January 6, 2021 was unfortunately, has unfortunately started continued threats on our democracy and de democratic processes. The behavior by these Texas officials cannot be normalized. In order for us to heal and move forward, we need accountability. It is in the hands of these Texas officials to resign and we call for their immediate resignation. In the event that they choose not to resign, we also support the efforts of accountability that include the resolution by Representative Cory Bush to expel members of Congress that took part in inciting an insurrection and took efforts to overturn the 2020 election. We support the senators that have filed an ethics complaint against the senators, including Senator Ted Cruz, that participated in objecting certification of the 2020 election. We also support the Senate moving forward with the impeachment trial to convict Donald Trump for inciting an insurrection at the Capitol. We support Representative Chris Turner from the Texas legislature who's called for an investigation into Attorney General Ken Paxton and his role on January 6th and to follow through on the consequences that include impeachment. We also support the legal efforts being made by organizations like the National Lawyers Guild to disbar, to disbar elected officials that took action on January 6th against our democracy. We support corporations to cease donations to these Texas officials immediately, and we'll continue to work with Texans across our state to call for the elimination of these donations. This letter that was signed, the press conference you're viewing today is not our only action. We will continue to elevate the efforts of Texans that call for the accountability of Texas officials that contributed to the insurrection on January 6, 2021. Join us, be a part of this effort. If you are a Texas organization that wants to add your name to this statement in solidarity, email us at indivisibletextledge at gmail.com. That's indivisibletxlege at gmail.com. In our post is also a link for every Texan to sign as an individual so that we can provide the evidence that's clear that Texas no longer needs these officials representing us. We also have included a link to uh, take action in various ways to continue the pressure and we'll continue to let every Texan know how they can take action until these elected officials are removed from office. Thank you to the 70 plus organizations that have signed the statement so far. Thank you to the two Texas state representatives and the over 850 plus Texans that have signed the statement up to this point. Thank you for attending our press conference today to all of our speakers that joined us to share the voice of this coalition. Neil Aquino representing Indivisible Houston, Dr. Candace Matthews with the Texas Coalition of Black Democrats, Harris County Chapter and State Organization, Shante Davis with the Sunrise Movement Houston, Texas State Representative Ron Reynolds from the Texas House District 27. Christina Sensun Ramirez, founder of Jolt Action and Latino Families Forward and 2020 U.S. Senate candidate. Join us. And thank you.